All right, guys. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do some cleanup at the assembly level to make my life a lot easier. If you look over the tree here, I have a serialized part numbering convention. Some people use a smart part numbering convention. Unfortunately, what that does is take away any like really easy to distinguish, like what is the thing, right? No descriptive name for this, at least not without having to decipher the smart part numbering system. So what I want to do is make this a little bit easier to understand. So I'm just going to go right click at the top of the tree. I'm going to go to tree display. And this might look a little bit different depending on what version you're in, but I'm going to go ahead and go to component name and description here in 2022. And I'm going to go ahead and switch this to just the component description as a second item. You can see there's three areas. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep the file name, but then I'm going to show the description after that. And I don't really care to see the display state. All these files have the same like default display state. So if we apply that, we should see over on the side here now is the actual file name and then the description next to each of those to make it a lot easier for me to find like the drip pan or the coil cart, right? Hopefully that helps you guys. I know it's something that I use all the time. Keep in mind that this is document specific, so you're going to have to change it for each assembly that you kind of go to. So have a great day.